Hi everyone, my name is Yayo and I'm the director behind Gyochia. So Gyochia just kind of started off as an idea. I needed to do an exhibition um, because I'm a graphic design major at the University of Minnesota and I was thinking a year in advance just because I knew I wanted my project to be something really big and something really different. Hi, my name is Lucy, my pronouns are she, her, hers and I am Gyochia's videographer and manager. Hi! I'm New Song, aka Nancy Thor. I use pronouns she, her, hers. I am Jochia songwriter and the person behind the demo song. The summer before starting Kyochia, uh, I was starting to get a lot closer to Lucy and Nancy. Um, and obviously, I'm really good friends with Alexis. I wanted to do something related to K pop because I knew I liked K pop, um, but something that really bridged my K pop interests with design. Just leaning into those interests, I was like, what about K-pop really drove me to it? Like, why did I want to learn Korean and go into Korean culture and really like look up to these Korean stars? It's because they were a form of representation for me um, growing up and just seeing Asian American or just Asian representation in general was really empowering um, for me personally. I was like, what if we transfer that into being Hmong American, like what would it be like if there was a Hmong American girl group? So when Yaya reached out to me and um, she wanted to make a girl group, I really thought that it was just going to be another group of friends that were just going to film a music video by the end of the year. Honestly, we had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. Uh, we just knew that it was a strong idea and that we had a huge passion for K-pop and a huge passion in our technical creative skills. So after I presented the idea to Nancy and Lucy, uh, we were like, well, how are we going to name Gyochia? Like, this is so weird. Because we knew we wanted a Hmong name, but also something accessible to people. After talking on video call, also this is during a time of COVID, so we had not met up in person much at all either. We decided to go with the name Gyoa and Chia. So for those who don't know what Gyo Chia means, Gyoa is wind or air, and then Chia is fresh and new. And so together it makes fresh air. Like as we came up with the name Gyo Chia, I went to my mom because I don't know much Hmong. I'm very Hmong Mika. And I was like, mommy, is Gyo Chia like a pretty word? And she was like, yeah, it's like pretty and I was like great we're going with Gyochia we have no time to waste. I always think of things at a very minimal and then the most extreme state and obviously I go towards the more extreme state but in the minimal sense you know when you're in school you just want to do things in a basic way and get it over with. I thought this was just going to be a five member photo shoot with, four Hmong, with five Hmong girls and slap my design on it and call it a project. We knew, Lucy, Nancy, and I knew that we wanted it to be something bigger. And so we went out and we did, went out, quote unquote, on social media to do um, auditions for Kyochia. Hey everyone, my name is Yayo and I have a third year at the University of Minnesota, double majoring in graphic design and strategic communications. And so for member requirements, you have to be 18 years or older by June of 2021. Um, we garnered a lot of interest, but we weren't getting many applicants. Um, and so we we're just kind of like in this state of like, oh my gosh, is this project even going to work? We don't know. And so on the very last day of submissions, 20 girls from across the Midwest sent in their application. Um, and it was just so empowering to us because we we're like, oh my gosh, people are actually interested in Gyochia and wanting to make this come to life. Hi, Hello, my name is Nechi. Hello, I am Kashia Pasha Ying. So, um, Nancy, Lucy, and I went through all 20 applications, um, watched them sing, dance, rap, really showcase their talents, and all of them were so amazing. Uh, but we ended up picking Shannon, Alexis, Pasha, Nube, and Cha. We chose these five girls because they really exemplified what we wanted for Gyochia. Um, 
even if they weren't super well versed in singing or dancing or rapping like we knew that at the end of the day they brought in confidence and uh, we wanted people who are dedicated and were committed to the idea of Jia Chia. Um, so we chose these five members with a lot of intention and we just ended up being so lucky that they were such great five girls to work with. Hi, my name is Shannon Tao. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the leader and main vocalist of Jia Chia. Hello, my name is Alexis and I use she or her pronouns and I am the lead vocalist at Jia Chia. Hi, my name is Pasha. I go by the pronoun she, her, hers, and I'm the main dancer and lead rapper in Georgia. Hello everyone, my name is Nuve, and my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I'm a main rapper in Georgia. Hi everybody, my name is Chahar, and I use the pronoun she, her, hers. I am the lead dancer and gongze of Georgia. After doing the auditions, we were like, okay, let's do this thing, and then we were like, wait, we don't know how to sing. All we have is Nancy with this song. And so next, uh, we submit applications to for people to back your chair, which is help your chair in Hmong. And to our surprise, a lot more people um, came in. Right away, Lucy, Nancy and I, well specifically Lucy and I, were just ready to go in with just the two of us. But we soon realized that five girls is a lot to take care of and so Um, this is very helpful because a lot of times when I'm singing, I run out of breath even though it's so... My name is Cha Billy Vang. My pronouns are he, him, his, and I am the vocal coach of Gyo Chia. Cha Billy is our vocal coach and I can't imagine anyone else has a vocal coach. I know that Cha Billy has had a lot of kind of maybe hesitations and doubts about uh, his abilities as a vocal coach because this is his first time doing it as well. But I feel like he's really done the best job that he could um, at the end of the day. And so just want to give a huge shout out to Cha Billy for being flexible with all of us, many of us not having any vocal experience, previous um, vocal experience, um, and being able to help nurture that for us and create a space where uh, we can work on that more comfortably and also just acknowledging that there are going to be times where it's awkward it's kind of weird um and honestly kind of frustrating sometimes but just like still exercising patience with us and um continuing to guide us in the best way possible yeah good 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 okay, go ahead. i was alive even to the fight, no, I should have fought it. At least I'm being honest. Feel like a failure, cause I know that I failed you. I should have done you better, cause you don't want to lie. And I know what I know what I know, she gives you everything, but go at her and give it to you. Here, now we're going into this footwork that we were, we've been doing some of the Hi, my name is Karen. My pronouns are she, her, and I am the choreographer of Jo Chia. I always knew that Karen was a strong dancer, and so when she applied to be Jo Chia's choreographer, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing! Never in my life would I think we would have such a, such a strong choreographer. I really appreciated the opportunities that she would give us during dance practices to just move, even if it was a little scary, like freestyles and stuff like that. If I had to, I don't know, if I had to pick between choreography and freestyle these days, I'm definitely more into freestyle. <laughs> That's just kind of my comfort at the moment. And uh, I don't know if I would have been able to say that without um, Karen's or the sort of push that Karen um, had given me. Remember when you guys were walking up? If you 
notice that it's crabbed on this side or um, you need more space, like, sm like space out when you see it is needed. <laughs> ha, that's the only moment you start to move your hip. So tr try to refrain from like, like, like getting ready to move your hip. <laughs> Just keep it still and still. Ha, ha. My name is Xing Fu or Xing. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the executive assistant or makeup artist, hairstylist. My name is Mili. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am the stylist for Gucci. My name is Nikita, and I go by she, her, hers, and I am the stylist for Gucci. Hi, my name is Mindy. My pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am a makeup artist for Gucci. Hi, I'm Kalina, and I go by she, her, hers pronouns, and I am the lead makeup artist for Gyochia. Hi, my name is Pa, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and the social media manager for Gyochia. One trend, if you haven't seen, is I love bringing my friends into all the projects that I do. And so, for Shake Fu specifically, um, she came in during our first teaser shoot for Gyochia, even before the girls were released, um, and she came in as a makeup artist, yeah, and ever since that first teaser shoot, she's just been such a valuable member to the team. Not only doing makeup and hair, but just filling in all the little details that the other stylists may miss. Or like, you know, we all work to collectively as a team and Shinkfu is able to get every single detail. She's very detail-oriented, very organized, very thoughtful, and again, shows so much love for the girls and the team as well. Nice. <laughs> Mili is my co-stylist and I think when we first met over um, online webcam, I don't think I knew that our chemistry was going to be as strong as it is. I think Mili and I are extremely 
fill in each other's strengths and weaknesses for each other. Nikita um, is, she's like on top of things. She notices a lot of like small details, which is something that I'm so grateful for. She fills in a lot of the gaps, and I, but I feel like that's kind of how it is for a lot of the team members. She's very determined. So if she has a vision, like she's gonna create it. And I love that about her. Mili is someone who really pushed me and inspired me to really go above and beyond on this team. Every time we did a project together, she always finds a way to like level up and then it makes me motivated to do the same thing. But she is the person that's like kind of, she's, she's thinking a lot of things in her head. You can tell she's very, we'll be like rushing around in chaos and then she's over here checking the time, making sure we're all like together and um, on the timely schedule. So uh, I'm very thankful for her. I guess she's like the mama of like the whole Got your crew. <laughs> oh my god. Stylist, what is it? Attacks back. Period. Takes Pasha spies, don't you? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> K-pop introduction. I can't dance. <laughs> 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 Are you sending the big do right here?
We were a little bit shy to also just like just show Chabili our voices too but then as practices went on it has gotten so much fun Chabili provides food for us and he always starts with like a little icebreaker game which literally makes us like laugh till our stomachs hurt so there's just always such great memories <laughs> Nancy is most definitely the comedic relief of the team and she also fills the spots that I'm un unable to fill. Um, obviously I am a male vocalist and my vocal range does not go as high as some of the members in Yochia but Nancy always had my back and she was always there to sing those notes for the girls when I wasn't able to. In the midst of filming or doing photo shoots, Nancy is always there to ensure that everyone feels comfortable in their own skin, that everyone is feeling confident. And she's the designated Yochia hype man. Um, she is always there to be there for you and to make sure that you love yourself as you are that day. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Pung Hee Hyung. My pronouns are he, him, his, and my position in Gyochia is the sound engineer. One, two, I think the best process was um, getting to like have one-on-ones with the girls and just getting to know their voice and how they feel about their voices just because it's different Yay! for all of them. They all have different experiences and it's just really good to ask anyone where they're at with their voices, whether they're just beginning or whatever it is, because that just plays a huge role into their confidence and their performances when they're in the studio. Um, also do some exercises of like pretty much what a vibrato is, right? So vibrato, it technically is just two different notes, right? But we're going back and forth between them so fast that it kind of just sounds like it's so listening to their stories and how they feel about themselves has been the best thing and of course you know bringing their voice to um, another place to the place that we wanted um, Yochia to be at with the foundation that the girls has given us so that was like super cool and now I will you know carry their experiences and their stories with me. Wow, Yochia is truly impactful. And Yochia, again, to me now is just something I'm gonna hold so dear to my heart, like when I'm like 30 to 40 years old and possibly, possibly wanna have like kids for anything. I just want like, my kids also just be like, your mom was in a girl group. The first, the, hopefully, the first mom girl group, you know? Even though it was just a project and everything, like just seeing how, serious everyone takes it and everything it just truly makes me so grateful for everyone on this team something that i learned from yoshia is to be kind to myself um, is to you know take everything in and honestly living in the moment 
I feel like the members and I have really become close over this time period. Um, aside from Alexis, I feel like the other members I just kind of knew of, and even our first like rehearse, our first practice together was very like uh, awkward, and nobody knew what to say, and we were all still shy. But now I feel like we're able to like joke around with each other and be more comfortable around each other and really like rely on each other during like stressful times and just like they have become people who now I do call my good friends and now I can rely on them and work with them in projects. So I feel like Georgia has opened the doors for me to really create more with other people. Once everything is over, I'm going to remember Yochia as uh, obviously something very special to me. Uh, it was my, it was a creative outlet. It was also um, in some ways an emotional outlet as well. Yochia right now, it means so much to me. Yochia is my second family and um, everything I've been through with Yochia has been a blast. I do not regret a single moment. I've been here so many times. Oh, so cute. I really hope for the future, young Hmong girls will look at Yochia's content, look at the Yochia girls themselves, and the women and the people behind our team, and really are inspired by it, and take our energy, this this energy to create, and to, to make something different within the Hmong community, or not even just the Hmong community, in the creative community, um, and take off with that energy, like create something more, create something better um, for the futures of of future Hmong generations.